Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert will be talking about CloudFormation stack. So let's get into the video. Whatever we create that is called a stack, we call it as a stack and it will be a collection of AWS resources that you want to manage or you can manage as a single unit. If you want to manage them collectively, so that is how your cloud formation works and it is going to, whenever you give a template to the cloud formation, it is going to create a stack. So that stack can be created, updated and delete a collection of resources by creating, updating and deleting a stack. So that the stack here, all the resources which comes under a stack can be created, updated and deleted collectively. And all the resources in the stacks are defined by the AWS stacks, AWS cloud formation template. Now any resources which are part of this particular cloud formation template will be a part of a stack and any changes you're making to that particular resource, it will also reflect in your stack. So it is interrelated. Now, as you can see in that diagram, so this is a single stack using that we are creating a Route 53, CloudFront, S3, Load Balancer, DynamoDB, EC2 Virtual Machines, Load Balancer, RDS, and also VPC is also created. You can also create a VPC also in the uh, template. So everything is created and entire this thing is considered as a single stack. Now I have to make any changes to any of these resources. I'm going to update the code respect to that and I'm going to update the stack it is going to update the respective resources only without affecting the rest of them that is how it is going to work collectively so as you can see this is how the modification of your template we call it as a update or a chain set so updating and modifying is simple as i've already explained uh, just modify your code and upload upload it it is going to compare and make the changes accordingly so updating the stack can be done by creating a chain set by submitting a modified version of the original stack template the different input parameters or both what happens is even if when you're doing an update sometimes it might not necessarily mean that you need to make a code change sometimes it might be a change of the input parameter you had given right the parameters also we give right later on a second time you think that i want to give a different input so that will also be counted and that is also be compared versus what you had given before and accordingly the changes will be made now what aws cloud formation does it is going to compare the modified template with the original template and generate a chain set now there are two ways of updating it right one is direct update uh, where you just click on the update in the console uh, and uh, upload just a minute there are two ways of updating your cloud formation now if you go to the uh, cloud formation dashboard one of the way uh, which is not recommended way uh, in the cloud formation uh, which is rarely used is direct update so what is this direct update so here is a, a stack this is the direct update click on update and uh, replace the current template and give your template url over here and when you click on submit and update what will happen it is going to immediately start working on it so the moment you click on update or next and create it is going to immediately compare and start working on it and it is going to immediately make the changes to you right so that is one way of doing it but that is not recommended that is called a direct update the second way of doing it is using a change set now what happens with the change set is that so when you do the change set it is going to compare the modified and the original template and generate a change set so wherein the change set will be a list of proposed changes wherein as you can see you edit a template and upload and cloud formation is going to create a change set for you now this change set I can view and verify manually and then allow the cloud formation to make the necessary changes instead of uh, because whatever I made in the uh, code change probably it is a large number of lines of code probably the changes I made might affect my other resources but I am not aware I just click on change and when I look into the change set what it will change set to it will compare what will be uh, what will be uh, what what was there and what it's going to change when you when you implement this and give you a report or a chain set we call it as a chain set and you as a user view this report and then do an approval then once you approve it then only the changes will be implemented so using a chain set is always recommended rather than doing a direct update in most of the scenario now how do you do a chain set so here you under the select a, a stack and go to the stack action and click on create a chain set for a current stack so it will ask you for a new template give you a new template it is going to create a chain set for you and say if you implement this particular new template your this particular resources will be modified and this is what will be modified it will give you a details of it and apart from chain set there is also one more concept called stack set 
So what are the stack sets? Stack set, as you can see in the diagram, you can control multiple stack with a single stack, right? So stack set extends the functionality of a stack by enabling you to create, update, and delete delete stack across multiple accounts and other regions with a single operation, right? So here you will have an admin account. So this is uh, admin account. From this, you have a stack set. Using that stack set, you can control other stacks. Like it can be, it can be in a different account or it can be in a different region, right? And this is how most of the big enterprises manage their uh, infrastructure because they will have multiple accounts uh, for multiple projects and multiple environments. So, in, rather than individually logging into each of the account, they will have a shared service account or an admin account. From there, they're going to create a stack set, and using that stack set. They're going to control the template in the different accounts and using this template eventually they are controlling the infrastructure also in a different account now for example let's say there's a different environments like a b c d and uh, uh, my application is not working in c environment so what i'm going to do i am not going to log into the c environment and do the changes from the admin account i'm going to make a changes uh, to that particular code and uh, propagate the changes and that changes will uh, verify it and say okay there, there is a change in the c account and it's going to implement the changes in the c account so this concept is called stack set where you can control your stacks in multiple accounts and regions with a single operation so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if you want to dive deeper to any concept then we have something really 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 special for you we have our free class on aws devops for beginners certification along with some demo. In this free class, you'll be learning about why learn DevOps and on AWS Cloud. What is AWS DevOps? Who should be learning about it? CI CD pipelines. You'll be getting a demo. You'll also be getting some hands-on labs and job opportunities as well. So in order to register for this free class, all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash AWS DevOps 02. And after that, you'll be seeing this kind of interface. You just have to click on book your free seat now and add your event state according to your availability, enter your name, your email address, your phone number, and click on yes, save my seat. Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of URL on the extreme right. Save that URL and I will see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.